Hi there, good morning, it's Jeff here. Today's video is about the sterling exchange rate. Well, the news is that in recent weeks, uh, the value of, of sterling in the foreign exchange markets has been appreciating. Indeed, in recent days, it's climbed above $1.30. Let's have a look at the chart. This chart shows the sterling dollar exchange rate since uh, May 2021. You can see that the pound was falling uh, in 2022, especially in the uh, during the, the sort of trust uh, quarteng budget fallout. There were fears that the pound might actually reach parity against the dollar. But there's been some recovery since. Obviously, ups and downs. The pound is a floating exchange rate. But notice in the last few uh, weeks, certainly since the sort of uh, middle of 2020, January 2025, sterling has been on an upward trajectory, climbing back above $1.30. And the similar story, if we look at the pound against the euro, the pound now trading just below one euro 20. Again, it has been lower in the last two or three years. So why is sterling gaining ground? Why is the value of the pound going up in the foreign exchange markets? Perhaps three main reasons. First of all, the markets are concerned about a possible US recession uh, amid Trump's tariff wars. The OECD recently downgraded their forecasts for the US economy and fears that the escalating trade disputes between uh, Donald Trump's America and Mexico, Canada, the European Union and other countries could bring about higher inflation and recession in the States. Secondly, inflation has come down in the UK, but it still remains above target, currently 3%. And persistent above target inflation here in the UK implies that the Bank of England might be more cautious in cutting their base interest rate. So we have it down to 4.5%, perhaps two more rate cuts in the second half of this year. But uh, there's, a, there's a risk that those rate cuts may not necessarily happen or might be delayed. And that means that with interest rates staying relatively high, inflation-adjusted real interest rates, that's the nominal rate of interest minus inflation, will be positive. And if real interest rates are positive, that tends to attract some hot money inflows into the UK financial system, which in turn boosts the value of sterling. So what are some of the main macro implications of this recent increase in sterling's value? Well, think about the acronym SPICED, strong pound, imports cheaper, exports dearer. A strong pound makes UK goods and services more expensive for overseas buyers, particularly uh, things like tourism, potentially reducing demand for exports. On the other hand, the UK can now import goods and services, raw materials, components at a lower price, especially those priced in dollars, and that can cut production costs for businesses that rely on inputs. So one of the consequences could well be a fall in inflation. So a stronger pound reduces import costs, that makes things like gas and oil cheaper, and that should help to bring down cost push inflationary forces. That said, other factors, including the rise in national insurance and the increase in minimum wage, are driving inflation higher. But, in theory, our stronger pound will bring down inflation. Therefore, if the pound appreciates, this might encourage those rate cuts that we talked about. So here's a chart showing UK inflation in blue there. It's been rising in recent months towards three uh, towards 4% uh, on the CPIH measure. And there's the central bank interest rate. Uh, measure in black, nudging lower to 4.5%. Will interest rates come down in the second half of the year? That's a key factor deciding whether or not sterling will continue to rise in the foreign exchange markets.